Hello dear friends, welcome back. We are here to discuss about the bone which is called the pubic bone, right? So, uh, in the previous lecture I have just introduced the pubic bone, right? As we had said that it's a basin shaped bone uh, and which makes the pubic cavity or which makes the, uh, the pelvis cavity or which makes the and pelvis of the body right so I had said that and we had said that this pelvic cavity is actually made up of three bones and that is the two uh, yeah what are these the two uh, pubic bones right and then there was the sacral bone and then there was the coccygeal bone we had already said now uh, as we are discussing about the skeletal system right so this pubic bone is an irregular shaped bone and it's a complicated bone right and it is itself made up of three bones so we will discuss each bone in detail and first of all we will discuss the external features and the markings of this bone right and then we will discuss about the attachments attachments of muscles and ligaments to it right so we will have long uh, uh, journey to complete this pubic bone so as you can see in the whiteboard I have drawn three bones and then I have united them together and, may, and I have drawn one bone so the first bone that we have uh, here is this largest bone right and uh, this bone is called your ilium bone right this is ilium right and here you have your pubic bone pubic bone right and this is your ischial bone ischial bone or you can call it ischium or ischium right so the pubic bone the ileal bone or the ilium the pubis we can call it also pubis right and we call it also ischium and this is ilium right and these three bones will unite together and they will make one bone which is called the hip bone right this is your hip bone and this hip bone is made up of how many bones you can see here this is your ilium right this is your pubis and this is your ischium okay friends so the three together combine and they make one bone which is called the hip bone or we can call it the pubic bone also so this pubic bone one on the right side and one on the left side right like this and both of them unite and they make the pelvic cavity in which different important female and male viscerals are uh, protected and uh, are located here right okay friends one thing which is very important I will have separate lectures and I will discuss uh, first the iliac bone the external features the landmarks and the markings of the bone then we will discuss about the attachments of this bone right so here we have uh, the, the, this was just the introduction of this pubic bone right hip bone it is made up of three bones now first of all I will discuss about the ilium right I will discuss about ilium and its important markings external features and then we will discuss the attachments of the ilium in big detail right okay so first we have ilium I want to clear every concept and I want to clear everything about these bones inshallah we will have uh, very complete lectures and I will provide you guys a conceptual way to learn all the important uh, markings and all the important uh, feature, external features of this ilium bone so look carefully uh, first of all uh, as I told you that I will discuss about the external features so this ilium has three important parts Ilium is divided into three important parts and the first important part is the uh, it has two ends right we will discuss about the ends then we will discuss about the 
surfaces right and then we will discuss about the borders so the ilium will be discussed under three topics and what are those the first one is your uh, ends we will discuss about the ends of the ilium and as ilium has two ends we will see later then we will discuss about the surfaces of the ilium and then we will discuss about the borders of ilium right so look carefully uh, it will be very easy lecture don't worry guys look carefully first the ilium has two two ends right one is upper end and one is lower end first i will write the theory on the whiteboard right then we will see practically and then we will show every part that i am writing here i will show them on the surface of this bone don't worry we will learn it completely right so first of all your ilium has two ends the upper end and the lower end i will show them then it has three surfaces right you remember this that the ilium has three surfaces and the ilium has three borders it's quite easy the first thing completed how many surfaces three surfaces how many ends two ends how many borders two borders three borders right let's go first of all for the ends and discuss these ends of the ilium so i i told you that i will first of all write the theory here then we will see practically and then we will apply our theory on this bone and we will learn each part of that bone easily right so the ilium has two ends first there is upper end let me write here there is an upper end right and then there is an lower end it's quite easy right the upper end is somewhat complicated a little bit complicated then the lower end is not too much complicated right so look this upper end is also known as iliac crust right what is it's also known as it is also known as the iliac crest right i will show on the on the bone don't worry guys we will see that this is known as iliac crust now this upper end this upper end right as we know here this is iliac crust this is the upper end for example this is the iliac bone right this this is a flat shaped bone right this is iliac bone then this is ischial bone and this is pubis bone we will see that in the in the lecture on the uh, while we discuss about this bone uh, we see each markings right so this is iliac bone ischial bone and pubis bone now this upper surface or this upper end sorry this upper end of this bone is called the iliac crest right and then here is the lower end of this bone so it has two ends the ilia the upper end and the lower end the upper end is called iliac crust and this lower end will do what look carefully here this lower end of this ilium will join with the pubis and ischium and they will make acetabulum right they will unite and they will make acetabulum as you can see here this uh, depression this cup shaped part of this bone is called the acetabular fossa or we call it the acetabulum as the acetabulum means cup right so here the head of your femur bone will join and they will make the pubic joint right so this is cup shaped part and this is called acetabulum now you can see here this upper part of this acetabulum 2 by 5 part of this acetabulum is found by the iliac bone so the lower end will join with the parts of the pubis and pubis and ischium and they will make acetabulum so this part of this acetabular fossa is found by the iliac bone the end of the lower end of the iliac bone right so this is upper end this is lower end it's quite easy right upper end is called iliac crust now this iliac crust has four important points iliac crest 
has four important features and what are those four important features the first one friends as i told you i will write just the theory here then we will apply our theory on the bone don't worry guys we will see that the first one is the ventral part of it the first one is very very easily the first anterior part anterior part right now as i told you that the upper part or at the iliac crest has four important markings and what are those the anterior part and this mp anterior part is also known as the anterior anterior superior iliac spine right that's quite easy anterior superior iliac spine and i'm talking about this part this is called your anterior superior iliac spine this one right as you can see here this one this is acetabulum right this is the left iliac bone or this is the left pubic bone and this is the left ilium so this is anterior part right so anterior means anteriorly superior means above iliac means ilium bone and spine means the pointed end of the bone right so anterior superior iliac spine this is the first part of this iliac crest or the upper end right then there is the anterior inferior iliac spine we will discuss it later so the first part of this upper border or upper end of this iliac bone is the anterior part and the anterior part is called the anterior superior iliac spine and then there is the ventral segment ventral segment right let me make a diagram here for example if this is your iliac crest right and this iliac crest like this right this is your iliac crest now look carefully this is the most interior part right and this is anterior superior iliac spine done then behind this spine we have this part this ventral part of this bone right and then there is the dorsal part it's quite easy this is the dorsal part it is divided as i told you into four parts right four markings we will see the dorsal part the ventral part and the spine right and then this is your posterior part right this is the posterior part so quite easy anterior part which is called anterior superior iliac spine this is the ventral part ventral part this is the dorsal part and this is the posterior part it's quite easy friends right let's name them there the ventral segment the dorsal segment or part right and then there is the posterior part okay quite easy the ventral part okay we will see later so look carefully the posterior part is also known as as there was the anterior spine here is the posterior posterior superior iliac spine right okay the posterior part has this important part now look here this is anterior superior iliac spine and if you go posteriorly this is your posterior superior iliac spine right posterior means behind superior means above so superior iliac spine anterior superior iliac spine posterior superior iliac spine ventral part dorsal part these four parts the iliac crust has right then what else look carefully these two segments right as we have here these two segments i mean ventral segment and dorsal segment this ventral segment has three sub parts right the ventral segment has how many parts it has three sub parts and what are those three sub 
parts we will see right now first of all there is the uh, outer lip outer lip and I will show you them while we discuss it practical and we will apply this theory on this board there is the outer lip then and the, the then there is the middle part right this ventral segment I mean this one friends has an outer lip then it has a middle area middle area right then it has this middle area an outer lip right a middle area and then it has an inner lip inner lip right okay the ventral segment of the iliac crust has three important markings first outer lip middle area and inner lip that's quite good then the dorsal segment about the dorsal segment it has two important markings and what are those important markings the first one is the lateral slope lateral slope right and then there is the medial slope the lateral and the medial slope and we will see them don't worry my dear friends we will see them while we discuss about the bone uh, on in the front of the camera so look the upper part of the end of the ilium bone right which is called the iliac crust so it means that the iliac crust has four parts the anterior part the ventral segment the dorsal segment and the posterior part right we have different books and they write that the interior most part of the iliac crust is called the anterior superior iliac spine the posterior most part of the iliac crest right is called the posterior superior iliac spine right then in the middle they have the ventral segment and the dorsal segment the ventral segment has three important markings the outer lip the middle area and the inner lip right and the dorsal segment has an lateral slope and a middle slope right friends this was about the upper end of the ilium as I had said that ilium has two ends the upper end and the lower end and these were the important markings and the important external features which we will see later of this iliac crust or upper end now let's come to the lower end of this ilium look carefully friends this is your iliac bone i am making a very simplified diagram for example this is your iliac bone this is upper part and then it becomes uh, this is the uh, okay let me make it a little bit clear this is the lower part right like this right and then you know that here will be your what is this this is the part of the pubic bone and then there will be the part of the iliac bone so we have here a part like this right so this fossa is called the acetabulum acetabulum or acetabular fossa now the which i shared with the black color this part of the acetabulum is formed by the lower part or lower end of your iliac bone so this is upper end you know that and this is the lower end so if i show you here right with a pen look carefully here this is the acetabulum right and this is the upper part of the acetabulum now this upper part of the acetabulum is formed by the lower part lower end of your iliac bone right you can see it also here so this is the lower end of the iliac bone and this end unites with the pubis and pubis and ischium and they make the acetabular fossa or acetabulum so my dear friends i will write just i will write here that the lower end joins with it joins with what it joins with pubis and ischium 
and make acetabulum right so this is the important function of your uh, lower end of the iliac bone right friends so we discussed about the ends of the ilium as it has an upper end and a lower end right friends